St. Louis, Missouri. We would like to introduce or invite you to visit the Gourmet Soul Food Restaurant right there in your in the city of St. Louis. At 1620 Del Mac Boulevard. Yes. Oh yeah, just have some good food. Yes, yes. In that place. Amen. Amen. St. Louis, St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah. 16. 1620 Del Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri. Go there and, 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 and enjoy yourself. We have some good finger licking soul food in that place. Yes, yes. yes ah yes. 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 Okay. So visit there. Visit there. Yeah. Then. And give all your your feedback four one nine two one four zero three eight eight. Somebody say praise the, Lord. praise the Lord. Come on, put your hands together. Bless the Lord. This is there. This is there. We we have Sister Kapoor here with a testimony of the Lord. Lord had done so many things for her. Yes, Lord. Thank you. For something the Lord did for her recently that she wanted to testify to sister. Couple, come on. Yes. Stand right here by the cross. And turn to the camera. And give your testimony. Hallelujah. Somebody Amen. say praise God. Praise God. I just want to thank God for just waking me up this morning to see this day. Amen. God had done so many things for me. But the last thing, the last one he had done for me was I had a flood in my basement. It flooded. The first one we seen, the other one messed up my heater. I didn't have hot water for a whole month. I tried to get people to go there. They wouldn't do it. I want to fix it. <coughs> they were charging me um, $2,000 to fix it. God brought a man. That were able to, I wish they gave me a number. I wish him. He came that afternoon. He faced my heat. So I just want to thank God. Amen. Amen. The Alpha and the Omega. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He is the beginning right. and the end. Yes. You gotta put your trust in Him. Right. And then he asks, he said, "Seek." That's right. Seek. Seek God. That's right. Pray. Pray. And. If you seek God in His righteousness, yes. all the other things shall be added unto you. Yes, right. yes. Just want to thank God. John, this ministry is a blessing here. We are family people. I just want to thank God for that. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Is there anything too hard for God? Nothing too hard for the Lord. Some, sometimes we get concentrate on how God is healing you, but you don't take time up time out to say thank you for your thanks yes, amen. in the home Hallelujah. hello yes. sometimes you don't know how necessary they are till you are out of it yes oh yeah as someone once said they said that the pinky toe is as important as a big toe yes yes, <laughs> yes. yes. somebody yes. said praise the lord yes, yes. somebody yes. said glory yes. So we thank God for, for blessing his people. He's a way maker. He made way instead of no way. Hallelujah. Mm. The song said, when my bike was turned against the wall, and it seemed to be that there was what? No way. I don't know if he made way. He made way. Somebody said, praise the Lord. Time is fast spent, let go into our, our study. Amen. Jeremiah, the 17th chapter, please. Turn with me into the book of Jeremiah. Peter, yes. I want you to try something today. Get on the organs. I want a different tone today we, with the guitar. We are going to the, into the third room for a few minutes. Amen. Somebody say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, let's let, let try the organ today. Uh, I think the organs and the guitar without musical sound in it. No? In the, in the throne room. So let's go. Give it a try. Let's 
That's ten. Okay, no. Somebody said praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. 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 Someone ten. Jeremiah chapter seventeen, verse twelve. Turn to your Bible. We will visit few scripture. We will visit few scripture this morning. Somebody shall say, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. and highly favored. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 12 said, A glorious high throne yes. from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary. The throne room is our place. It's a sanctuary where we ought to worship the Lord. The sanctuary is a place of worship. Is that right? Yes, sir. Is that right, Reverend? Yes, that what the scripture is saying here. Maybe we have been worshiping God in the wrong places. But here Jeremiah is saying a glorious high throne from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary. Ah. A glorious the neighbor, the throne room is a place of worship. Uh, do you believe that? Yes, and put your hands together and bless the Lord. The throne room is a place of worship. Remember now, as the Lord has been teaching us, the throne room is not a place for complaint or petition. Yes. God already knows about your situation. Say neighbor. neighbor. God already knows about my, my situation. No matter how numerous my situation may be, God knows all about them. Oh, come on. Now. Ah, he already knows about your trials, your tribulation, your ups and downs. Then he said, now, saying, I have already received, because the Bible says, the, our angels stick our prayer request to him. And the fragrance of our prayer requests are before him like an incense. Yeah. Is that right? The fragrance of your prayers that have been taken to him are before him like an incense continuously. Yeah. Therefore, he already knows about your situation. Amen. So when you are invited into the throne room, the throne room is not a place for petition or for complaint. There are two things that are required in the throne room. When you enter the throne room, you enter to worship. Yes. You enter the throne room, the sanctuary to praise him and to glorify him. That while the angels are dead to the full self of calling upon him, praising him, holy, holy, holy. The same throne room where Isaiah was privileged to visit. See, uh, John the Revelators in uh, uh, Revelation, the fourth chapter, let go back to Revelation, the fourth chapter to see it again to see it again for yourself. Here, I, Jeremiah is saying here a glorious high throne from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary. No one is left out. Mm -hmm. Say, neighbor, mm -hmm. the throne room mm -hmm. is my place my of place. sanctuary. To worship the Lord. Is there a believer here? Is there a believer here? Believe here? Yes, yes. Somebody shall say glory to yes. God. Yes. God is a spirit, yes. and they that worship him must what? Worship, worship him in, in spirit, spirit and in truth. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The, 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 the sanctuary is a place of the Spirit of God, yes. it's not a place of Kanamai. Yeah. It's not a place of him or will. It's not the place of the flesh. It's the place of the mind. Hello? Amen. One of the reasons that God invites you into his sanctuary 
I believe in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 to verse 5 or 6, it says that when your obedience is fulfilled before God. Alright, alright, alright. 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 When your obedience is fulfilled, you have moved from the spirit of disobedience into the spirit of obedience. And God has identified you with the spirit of obedience. Hallelujah. Because it is better to, to obey than to sacrifice. Is that right? When your obedience is fulfilled before God, then God can empower you to break down, to break break down the stronghold of the enemies. Amen. Amen. Ah, somebody shout and say hallelujah. hallelujah. Read it for yourself in the in Corinthians 2 and 10. When your obedience is fulfilled before God, when you are accomplish your obedience. Ah, 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 ah. Say Lord, I will obey. Lord, I will obey. Say Lord. I will, I will obey you. Hallelujah. When God see you as a child of obedience. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, hallelujah. Yeah, it's the Lord talking to somebody this morning. When he sees you as a child of obedience, not just obeying obey him for the moment, but you are always waiting to be in the spirit to obey him no matter what. Yes, to resist temptation. Yes, to lay aside every way and the sin yes. that may come between you and him. Yes. To be a servant. Say neighbor, learn yes. to be a servant. Yes. A servant does what a master wants. Yes. A servant do not question a master. Or seven do not rebel against the master's order. Ah, uh, who the Lord talking to here? Say, neighbor, I am a servant of God. In the name of Jesus, learn to be a servant. Servant unto God. Then when you speak, you will know your place as a servant. Lord, whatever he tells me to do, that I what I want I will do. When you send me, that way I will go. What you want me to do, that what I will do. Because I'm just waiting for your order. Yes. I ask you to order my steps. Yes. Say, Lord, order my steps. I'm waiting to do your will. Come on, put your hands together. Uh, some of the shall say, I'm a servant. I'm the Lord. A servant does what a master wants. If you are willing to be a servant, then the God of the God of, of, of your head, your master, your employer, my employer, will do with me what he wants to do with me. Because I surrender to him. Say, Lord, I surrender to you. I am your servant, Lord. You know man. So as his servant, he invites you into the throne room. Somebody shouts, I'm in the throne room. In the throne room. <coughs> Somebody say, glory. glory. So, as, as Isaiah is, and Jeremiah is saying here to all, a glorious high throne from the beginning is a place of our sanctuary, and the sanctuary is a place of worship. So now, Isaiah was invited into the sanctuary, and John, the revelator, is also invited into the sanctuary. Say, neighbor, I am invited as well into the sanctuary. Oh, put your hands together. And then I'll here. Oh, I can't hear you. I can't sit down. If you agree with me and you know that the sanctuary is the place of our worshiping of God, will you please stand on your feet and just start putting your hands together? Let me give us seven minutes, at least seven minutes. Let me give us seven minutes to worship our God in the sanctuary. Just put your hands together. Everything in the house, put your hands together and start worshiping the Lord. Everything in the house. 
Put your hands together and stop worshiping. I, I, I leave. You can give the Lord seven minutes. I leave. You can give me seven minutes. Hallelujah. Seven minutes. A, a, a closed mouth cannot be fed. Only the open mouth. Only the open mouth. I can't hear you. Praise the Lord in the world. Praise the Lord in the Holy Ghost. Open your mouth and praise the Lord in the Holy Ghost. You are in the throne room. I can't hear you. As you worship the Lord in the throne room, you receive your healing. As you worship the Lord in the throne room, you receive your deliverance. As you worship the Lord in the throne room, you receive your breakthrough. As you worship the Lord in the throne room, you receive numerous blessings. I can't hear you. 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 Worship the Lord. Open your mouth. You can talk louder than that. You can shout louder than that. You can speak out louder than that. You, are, you have a big mouth. You have a big mouth. Get your big mouth for the Lord. Get your big mouth for the Lord. Get your big mouth for the Lord. Open your mouth. I can't hear you. You can do better than that. You are in the throne room. After this, I look, you are in the throne room. And behold, a door was open in heaven. And the first word which I heard was as in my heart. As husband. You can do better than that. Talk in with me. We said, come on higher. And I will show thee. You have a big mouth. Bring them over here and love and worship the Lord. Open your mouth and worship the Lord. Take on the Lord. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Everybody in the house. I can't hear you.
and that spread out her roots by the river, and shall not see when the heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall see from yielding fruits. Said neighbor, I will never see from yielding fruits. I can't hear. Say neighbor, I don't know about you, but I shall never see from bearing fruits. Even in the drought, I will still bear fruit. Oh, come on, say Lord, I receive it. Come on, I say neighbor, I will never see from bearing fruit. Even in the drought, no matter what the situation may be, I will still be bearing fruit because God has made me like a tree planted by the river of water. Say, neighbor, I am by the river of life. I am by Jesus. Oh, come on. Say, neighbor, I am standing by my Jesus, the river of life. You are by the river of life. You can never cease. No matter where the storm comes from. Is that right? No matter where the storm comes from. Say neighbor, I will never see. So I would like you to turn everybody here. Tell your Bible that. I mean tell your Bible. To say to Jeremiah. Oh, glory to God. Jeremiah chapter 17. I want you all to stand. Those of you that don't have Bible, it's just one voice. We all gonna re repeat this verse seven times that the Lord gave me this morning. When you're healing, stand up and I'll repeat this verse seven times. Get your Bible and get our voice and read along with me. If not, just memorize it and read along with us. Seven times. Yes, Lord. Jeremiah chapter 17, yes. verse 14. I'm going to read it, then we are going to recite it seven times. You listen to the, yes. what the Bible verse is saying here. You are, put your petition before God. Some of you may be facing medical issue that your medical doctors do not have answer for. Amen. Is that right? Amen. You have taken numerous pills, visited doctor so many times. Now you are in God's throne rooms. You are in the sanctuary, in the presence of the Lord. Somebody shouts the hallelujah. This is what the Bible for us says. I said, Lord gave it to me early this morning. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For thou art my prince. At the end of the seven repetitions, seven resuscitation, we will. Praise the Lord in the throne room again. Say, neighbor, I'm still in the throne room. Somebody say, I'm still in the throne room. Now, let's read together. Heal me. And what? I shall be healed. Save me. And I shall be saved. For thou art my praise. Second one. Heal me, O Lord. And I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For thou art my prey. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For thou art my prey. For heal me, O Lord, and what? I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For thou art what? My prey. Faith. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For thou art what? My 
praise. Six, heal me, O oh Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For thou art my praise. Seven, heal me, O oh Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For thou art my praise. I praise the Lord my day. You are in the plural. Praise the Lord. I can't hear you. Put your hands together. Come on, put your hands together. Stand on your feet. Put your hands together. Praise the Lord with me. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Stand up. Put your mouth on the Lord. I can't hear you. Put your hands together and praise the Lord. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. If you need help from the Lord, put your mouth on the Lord. Leave her alone. Put your mouth on God if you deliver. I can't hear you. Open your mouth, man. Say, open your mouth. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. I can't hear you.
seek after. Yes. Your enemy call you an old yes that you have been forsaken. You have been rejected. You have been denied. People have turned their bike on you. Is that right? People have given up on you. Man, extremities is God's opportunity. God told me to tell you, your mama may have given up on you, but God said he will not give up on you. Your daddy may have given up on you, but God said he will not give up on you. Somebody shout, the Lord, I receive it. Oh, come on, say oh, yes, you know, wash it all with me. Come on, put your hands together. Say, Lord, I worship you. 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 I worship the Lord with me. Say, Lord, I thank you for healing me. I thank you for delivering me. Oh, God. 
drove us saved and brought us back saved with no incident. Despite of what the demon was trying to do with my flesh, God kept me in the flow, kept me. And I'm delivered. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but God delivered the righteous from every affliction. You gotta know when your season is. Somebody say, Praise the Lord. Somebody say, I'm here, I'm, I'm delivered, yes, and I got my breakthrough. I got my breakthrough. Yes. Oh, put that in the chat. Yes, we are in to the throne room. Thank you. Thank you. We are in a place Thank you. Thank you. where the lane will walk, blind eyes will pop open, deaf ears will open, dead will be raised. Yes, sir. I say I'm blessed and honored of him. The work of the Lord got to go on. We are in the confidence of angels. How do you feel this morning? Now hold on a second. Come with expectations. Yes, for deliverance here that deliver. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Get involved with the service, Christian, get involved. Get involved, no matter how you feel, get involved. You are in the place of heal and deliver. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Please stand with your time, you know.